to make a special uh, conversation with you real briefly here. I've had enough people that have come up to me to ask me what my opinion was on what's going on with the coronavirus and its impact on the market. And since my mission here at Third Thursday 30 is to provide you the information and insight you need so that your money supports your life in the way that you would like to live it, I felt compelled to hop on here for a minute and share some of my thoughts with you. You see, I do have the blessing of being able to receive information from multiple sources of trusted information. Uh, people that are not out there trying to manipulate public opinion or manipulate the market. And those influences that I have, have led me to believe at this point in time that the market is undergoing no more than a correction. Now, I could look like a fool in a few months if this thing continues to bottom out, but chances are that's not what's happening. Chances are we are simply seeing a pullback in the market from what has been a run. Uh, folks, you got to un understand and anticipate that when night after night you're hearing the talking heads on TV say that we've got a new record high, well, sooner or later we have to come back down to earth. The market does have a tendency to revert to the mean, okay? And that may well be what's happening now, okay? Now, the coronavirus is nothing to take lightly, and the governments do appear to be taking some appropriate steps, perhaps maybe even going overboard on some of this, but only time will tell. You know, it doesn't take um, anything more than a little bit of perspective to see how the coronavirus and its impact pales in comparison to the flu. Now, what's really going on here from the market perspective is that there is the possibility that there has been a temporary disruption in the supply chains for many of the comp companies that have their assets uh, overseas, okay, when we have Apple having all of their manufacturing done in China, and China has a problem with their workforce, guess what? Apple stock may just fall. And when Apple's stock falls, folks, Apple is in every one of your portfolio in one form or another, if not multiple ways. And that's what's driving down your portfolio. But perspective is what we're here for. Perspective in the sense that I want you to understand that right now what we are hearing from our market analyst are that there's nothing that is systematically jeopardizing the growth curve that we have been on for a while. And if that is the case, then we want to look a little bit at history to see what's going on here and use that perhaps as a predictor of the future. Now. Corona is the latest in a series of these scares. I'm going to go back to April 2003, back when we had the SARS virus and all of the chatter about that. Well, what happened when the market crumbled in 2003 with the SARS virus? Within six months, the S&P 500 was up about 14.5%. Let's fast forward to the swine flu in April 2009. In the six months following the swine flu frenzy, the S&P was up 18% in change. Go to November of 2010, the cholera virus, yes. Well, the six months after that, the S&P 500 was up 13.95%. MERS in May of 2013, the S&P 500 was up 10.74% in the six months following that. Ebola. Remember the Ebola virus? Now, this one had a little bit longer of an impact. The six months following its bottoming in March of 2014, the S&P was only up 5.34%. And let's not forget our good old friend Zika back in January 2016, all of four years ago. In the 12 months following that fiasco, the S&P was up 12.3%. See, folks, this is, at this point in time, again, i got to throw that caveat in there because you never know. You know. This could be the black swan event that takes the whole thing down to a bottom into a true bear market correction, which 
everyone's looking for. When's it going to happen? We're a long, long time from the last bear, and the market will come back in a bear at some point in time. Whether this is the time, we don't know. But understand, last year, the S&P 500 was on a tear until this happened. And just last week, we were still talking about new record highs. So perspective. Okay? Now, if we think about when these market corrections happen, I just want to look at a couple of them for some edification. Because we might end up in a significant correction. Okay? But they do come back. This has happened. We've had several corrections over the last decade. 10% or more. We had one in the April 2010 era, had another one in April 2011, another one in May of 2015, followed by another one in November of 2015. In January of 2018, there was another correction, and then September of 2018 through the end of that year. Now, attached, if you want, I can send you some, some data on this, but the point is these corrections do happen. This is part of the investing cycle. And if you don't have stomach for this, there are solutions. But if you do wish to be in the market, this is part of the price of admission. Is the sky falling? I don't believe it is. My experts don't believe it is. We'll only find out when the sky falls when it does fall. That's the nature of the beast. So, Coming off of a week that's been heavy in coronavirus talk, pop a corona and enjoy yourself. Forget about the market. Just let it happen. Take care.